Hey guys, welcome back to the debater. So today we're going to do another debate, but this time it's going to be on Mamma Mia. And the debate is, who is Sophie's biological dad? So me and Ellie thinks it's Sam and Emily thinks it's Bill. We all got, we all going to say why and, um, and how or why, just anything. So yeah, we're going to get straight to it. But before we start, I like, to let you know, can you please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell? And yeah, let's get to it. So, Emily, do you want to start off? Okay, I guess. I mean, there are three potential dads. So, who is it? Is it Sam? Is it Harry? Is it, is it Bill? And she seems to have something in common with all of them. So, Sam with her drawing ability, Harry, her musical ability, Bill, her wish to travel. So, that makes it even harder. But in my opinion, it's Bill. So a flashback to that conversation Bill had with Sophie when they first met. So Bill says, I thought you looked familiar, uh, Sophia? And then Sophie goes, eh, it's Sophie. And then Bill goes, well, Sophie, Sophia is the Greek. And Sophie goes, well, I'm named after a Sophia. And then Bill says, I used to have a great aunt living on the mainland named Sophia. And then later on, we find out that Donna was left money by Bill's great aunt, Sophia, who had heard that she left. And he had heard that she had left money to family. Now, you're probably thinking the same thing. Like, family doesn't have to mean blood-related. There's all types of families. It doesn't have to mean blood-related. But both things, the name and the money, like, it just seems like a bit too much of a coincidence. And then if we go back to that scene, you know, um, where Bill suddenly realizes that Sophie is his daughter. So around that scene, so there was apparently supposed to be a song, the name of the game, and it was supposed to be performed by Sophie and Bill together, but it was cut. So <laughs> that would have been the only song shared between Sophie and one of her possible fathers, just them two, because we've also had our last summer. But this would have been just their duet together. So that seems to sort of show something, maybe. And then we've also got like the physical traits, like her hair color, her blue eyes. And we've even had the actress who plays Sophie, Amanda Seyfried, said she hoped Sophie's dad was Bill. And even the screenwriter and director have confirmed that the dad was Bill. So, you know, but saying all of this, even though it does seem like it's Bill and whatever, and whoever you might think it is. At the end of the day, I guess it doesn't really matter because Sophie doesn't care. She considers all three of them to be her dad, which is a lovely way to sort of like show her love for all of them and like not decide to take that test, the paternity test. But yeah, in my opinion, and from what the people who made the movie as well think, it's Bill and it's not Sam or Harry. But yeah. Going. Wow. I didn't know you can have like actual proof that someone says it might could that it's definitely built. <laughs> but I think it's Sam because I feel like we know Donna met um Harry first, then Sam and then Bill. So I think how is just like a one night thing and then she met Sam. <laughs> I'm not trying to be rude, I'm just saying. But she met Sam like on the island. I think they were they were like I mean, I know she met Bill first, but then she actually got together with Sam next. So I think, I think she spent a lot, a lot, a lot more time with Sam a bit. So I think, and then with Bill, I think it was again, again like a one night thing as well. I'm not sure how long because I'm trying to remember from the sequel, Mamma Mia, here we go again. So I think in that time, I think. Donna spent a lot more time with Sam. So I think math like logically or possibility, like the chances of being the father could could have come from Sam due to the fact they've probably been together. The more night they spend more nights together, really. So I think that's I think that's the way I see. I think the more time you spend with someone or stay the night with someone, I think there's a chance that it could actually be them like could be Sam's in my opinion and I think again like you said because they got not only got like a drawing tech well Sophie's got drawing skills from Sam I also think like he's got like um 
like Sam instantly recognized like Sophie's ambition to leave the island and not and not get married. So I think he's instantly got that connection with her. So I think possibly he might he might have just recognized that he sees something in himself in her. He didn't want to get married with his first wife during his time with Donna. So maybe that mirrors that mirrors his life in this youth to when Sylvie was going to get married. Sorry, I did not make that clear. Oh, I'm really sorry about that. But I hope you get what I mean. Okay, so obviously Emily's kind of signed us off with the, was it the producer or whoever basically saying that Bill is the dad. However, (laughs) we're going to go with mine and Grace's (laughs) points. Um, so I kind of agree with what Grace is saying. Sam had a lot more opportunities to be the dad. Again, kind of trying to keep it PG here. Um, but he had a lot more opportunities to kind of be there and have that happen. Obviously, with the time frame of things, it genuinely could have been all three of them, and we do get that, and I get that's and in Sophie's mind it is all three of them so whether it is biologically or not she did accept all three of them because she has traits of all three like she picked them all up and I guess that is picking it up through her mum and through her mum's love of all three of them Mm -hmm. however drawing does tend to be a skill that is passed through generations Mm -hmm. speaking of being the artist of the group I get my drawing skills from my dad's side of the family that was passed down and while drawing is something you can learn and you can pick yourself up on Sophie seems to see it as a very natural trait and it doesn't seem something that she's practiced over the years she seems to pick it up quite easily she's got the natural talent for it so it would make sense for her to inherit it from her dad so you know (laughs) We've got that as a strong contender, even though Emily may have an actual quote from the proper producer saying that it's him. However, DNA traits of passing down drawing genes is very real. Um, I get I get what you were saying about the traits. I get that. Um, to be honest, we still don't know much about Bill and like his family and his side of it, but we also don't know about Donna. Like maybe like her dad. Donna's dad you have to draw we we don't know so it doesn't necessarily have to have come from Sam but I get that also the fact that she spent more time with Sam it only takes a night to get pregnant sort of thing <laughs> so it you know it, it just depends I don't need to explain the whole thing because I'm sure yeah. you guys all know about it but basically like even just one night could lead to pregnancy but yeah I I get what you guys were saying I mean it it logically like like Grace said it does make sense right the more time you spend with someone the more of a chance there is but Mm. our bodies are weird they don't know time (laughs) so it just depends I guess but yeah I still do think it's Bill but we we all don't seem to think it's Harry though so I guess Imagine it we know Sally and we all got it wrong. I mean, it's quite sad because <laughs> Sam has kids. Because Sam has kids and Bill sort of, I don't know, it, it just, I sort of feel like, like Sam already has kids, so it's okay. Like it should have been uh, Harry or Bill sort of thing. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I mean, that's just. Yeah, but hold on, just imagine if it was Harry's. I mean, not it. if Sophie is Harry's daughter, then that would mean Sophie would technically might have like a an extra dad as well. It depends on who Harry marries to because oh. he's he gets, so that means we're gonna that's get so true. Dad. That's so true. So true. Oh, that's too much for my head. That's <laughs> too much. Yeah. Oh my Three god. Dads. One extra. You know, in the sequel when um. We first see um, Donna throwing up or when she's feeling really ill, not ill, but very tired with with her friends in the bar. Just wonder how long was that? Like after 
her night with Bill. Because that's all depends. Because like, uh, I don't know how to explain it, but like, because I know there was like a few gaps between Howie and Sam. I'm not sure what was the gap between Sam and Bill, whether it was like a day or two or something. But then that time when Donna was actually feeling really tired and was vomiting, was that like a, if it was like a week or something or possibly more, they have to calculate it right. Cause um, I remember something from Bridget Jones' um, Baby. That I don't know why I remember this, but I remember um, the actress um, Emma Thompson, yeah, she was a doctor, and she said something that um, the sperm can live live for several days after, you know, that. So I'm just thinking, even if she was still with Bill, she was probably still be pregnant at the time with Sam's. Yeah. So, and if she was, if she was hypothetically pregnant with, um, pregnant with Harry's, and she was still, you know, doing it with Sam and Bill, then, I don't know, me, I'm, not, I'm not pregnant, I'm not an expert, but surely during like a week after, you wouldn't feel, you wouldn't have the symptoms already, or wouldn't it be a bit more later? I think, I think pe- uh, women tend to get pregnancy symptoms. I mean, I'm not that I know <laughs> from what I can sort of like, gather I guess um it's like six to seven weeks after I mean it it, again it just depends on the person like it's you can't pinpoint like every single person is very different with their pregnancy symptoms and every single month and whatnot Mm. so it's very difficult I thought for a second that you were properly going to get out a pen and paper you're going to go so week (laughs) one week two (laughs) like actually like I wouldn't put it past Grace to do that yeah, but deep down, I feel like a Sam. Ellie, do you still feel like it's Sam? <laughs> uh, deep down, I don't really care who it is. All three would make amazing fathers, but in my brain, I think it's Sam. However, I feel like my brain has been proved wrong from physical evidence that Emily has given us of quotes from the people. Still, in my brain, it's Sam. All right, guys, that concludes our debate today on who is Sophie's biological dad from Mamma Mia. So Ellie and Grace are still thinking it's Sam and I'm still stuck with Bill. But let us know down below who you think it is and your reason as well. Is it Sam? Is it Harry? Is it Bill? Or could it be someone else? Don't know. But let us know all of that down below, along with any other debates you'd like us to do, whether they're Mamma Mia related or Marvel, Disney, Harry Potter anything just let us know down below harry potter i will take that (laughs) so definitely bring up some harry potter debates down below um please make sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with our videos um make sure to check out some of our other videos as well done loads of other disney debates marvel debates other debates we've even done a harry potter debate we have done it so definitely can check that out i'll leave a link to that in the description box below we've also done other stuff vlogs pranks pranks go check those (laughs) out definitely games so yes tons of different stuff so check that out on our channel um you can also use a website to check those out as well they've all been categorized on there and we have a live blog make sure to check out our twitter and instagram as well for live updates of new videos and that's it for today so I hope you guys really enjoyed this debate and sort of picked a side we sort of convinced you. I hope I've convinced you at least. But of course. Yeah. <laughs> but we'll see you next time for Up to your free choice, viewers. You don't have to listen to what Emily says. <laughs> you do. No, you do. No. You can listen to us. Trust us. <laughs> Freedom. Side with us. Freedom. Side with anyone you'd like. But not Emily. Me. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you next time guys. Bye. Yeah, bye. bye. bye.